Norms, uh, standing there with, with, of course, Mr. Harris himself, and uh, old pal of mine from well early 80s, I think we first yeah, met when In Excess first came over to take London by storm, <laughs> and it was never the same after that. Anyway, Gary Gary Beers is here, original founder member of In Excess, bass player extraordinaire, who is now um, starting to build bases, uh, and we are going to be repping them for you, right? Yeah, so it's. Uh, um, do you want to tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, uh, they're all hand built. They're all uh, hand built by you, right? Hand built by me. I have I have some people that obviously help me yeah. paint and put together, th assemble things. But um, wiring, I do solder, but wiring is not my specialty. So I do have people that so you got do do proper soldering. A, a um, professional. But I designed. I did electronics at school. Yeah. Uh, after school, so I designed the pickup system, and the and the whole uh, tone system. So this is patented. So what's me. special about the, the tone system and the pickup? Uh, the pickup is a single passive pickup, so no batteries anywhere. Right. It's got four coils, so you can get a full humbucker, you can get a split a split humbucker, a reverse split humbucker, and two single coils. Oh, cool. All, all out of one passive pickup. Wow. And with simple controls, there's volume, that's a balance pot to go between. So you get all different variations too. You yeah. Get the, between the split humbuckers and reverse split humbucker, you can get in the middle and a bit over this way a bit more. And this is a pull pot on the tone on the tone pot, so you can go single coil. So it does it all. Yeah. I oh, see so so you've got that. Make it sound kind of Rickenbacker-ish. Yeah, I, uh, I just did a full record. I got a very, very passable Rickenbacker P basses. Obviously, the reverse P bass is pretty cool because it's, it's kind of more hollow. Uh huh. And yeah. it's and it's all, not quite a single coil, but it's more hollow than a full split humbucker. And uh, the, the the full humbucker is with it all lines like this. Yeah, kind of all Gibson, but yeah. really, but yeah, full P bass. Single coil. Slight difference. Yeah, like an old one of the six P bass. That'll cut, cut through. Yeah. I noticed this one's got a hip shot on it as well, right? Yeah, I've so. always used hip shots since they first came out. I got one on my old '58 P bass, which was. Old oh, Faithful, which is the NXSP base, yeah. all through my life. And these are all reminiscent of, you know, yeah. standard colors and things like that. Yeah. But uh, but the pickup really is the most uh, interesting thing because you have such a variety of tones from that. Yeah, and, yeah. A, and the, obviously the main sound for me is a P bass is, is an old P bass. So I get that the reverse P bass. You know, to be able to get a lot of sounds out of a passive pickup, I think, is pretty unique. And I've been working. I worked on the pickup for many years. Back started back in Australia. Yeah. I've been living here 15 years, and I finally got around to you know, buying a string winder and learning how to to wind wind pickups. Um, oh. Yeah, which I'll never do again. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I get I get the pickups made for me, especially and um, and. Yeah, I, it's this looks like opinion. a beastie. It's got two of them on there. Yeah, I thought I'd so. make one with it. The, the, yeah, that's the uh, candy apple tangerine color. Killer finish. Yeah, yeah. I mean they yeah. they look really sharp. Nice relicking job. Yeah, yeah all the, the workmanship is excellent. Yeah. It's uh, re yeah, really nice finishing job and the woodwork and everything. Yeah, I yeah them very too. impressive. Put, yeah, the two pickups just just for people who might want the two pickups because obviously you get you get a whole yeah. Different palette Different of variations uh, of yeah. sounds. It's um, green, it's nice as well. And these are the two, the two, the two body models. I got the P there, the P bass. This right. The, this first one I built. Yeah. And that's a Blake Placid blue. Blake Placid blue. It's got the. It's got actually got a real anodized guard. Yeah. So all the four string models have the uh, hip shot. Yeah. I, 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 I've, I've got. Look, I've built a, a five string. I don't really play five strings, but I own the pattern to the pickup from four string through to ten string. Right. It just it, it just came with the territory, so I've got so I actually can build a guitar pickup for a six string. So at some point, um, but I built the five string, and it's kind of the only five string pickup where you can you can get a, a split humbucker sound and a reverse split humbucker sound, and your single coils and your and your classic um, full humbucker. I mean, which is what most most five string players these days want to get that that jazzy sound, and this gets it, but it also gets all the rock rock tones out of it. Cool. And, so uh, it covers a lot of territory it really for does. one band. And this one's like, like a slab body, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I went for a slab cool. body. I wanted to find a way where I get you know get a guard, you have to cut the guard up and yeah. so that's a long that it's like a seventy two P base kind of. So you yeah. through us, uh, you will be able to buy a Gary Gary Beer's hand built 
based. And What's with the Gary Gary beers? I mean, is it a stuttering thing or is it a... It's, you know, the actual truth of it is that my, uh, uh, a girlfriend of mine did the original artwork on the first two NXS al albums and she used to call me Gary Gary. And so she put, she did all the actually the handwriting. Well, they're, spelled, artwork. they're spelled different. Yeah, they're, well, yeah. I, I, I thought they made it really complicated. And have two R's then one R. And uh, so from then on, it's never been right ever since. Yeah. So, so it was one of those great ideas at the time that I can't. hey, people remember it though. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, and Gary was also the original member, one of the founding members of NXS. Yeah, right? yeah. From yeah. 1975, I think we started playing. Amazing. <laughs> so, Gary, just demo that a little bit more and explain how it how it works. So. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, down position, you're in, you're in uh, split humbucker mode. So, like an old P bass. Is the single coils? So this is these two, two, these two coils. More like a little more trouble. Fifty-five, fifty-four That one cuts through really well with a pick on stage with a nice big amp pick. They really sound good. Yeah. And it's well, they feel good too. That's the thing is that I, I based all the, the feel of all of them on, on my old, old face. On your 58. 58, yeah. yeah. And this is why this one's become my favourite, even though it's, like, it's a, a, what do you call it, a jazz master body. I've customised yeah. yeah, customized it. Have you used any of these bases with band or I use. Yeah, I have a new band called Ash and Moon. Ash and Moon, yeah. Okay. And uh, I use them, all I did, everything's recorded on the record is done by one of the two, two of the bases or three of the bases because some of them I put um, dead flat wound strings on it to get that old. Right, that James Jamerson yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, he's my hero. So, um, and I use them all on the record and, and every gig, I, that's all I use now. Yeah. Especially this guy, this this guy's become my favourite. And, actually and all our videos are in, I, I've used them all in our videos too, because uh, they're just beautiful bases. Yeah, they look fantastic. Yeah, they feel great, they sound great, and they cover a lot of territory, so if you want one base to do as much as one base can do, yeah. that pickup does it. Well, exactly. I, I, and the big question, how much are they... I want to. I want to start around four, four grand because yep. they're, they're, they're handmade. They're all played and used by me. That's right for a boutique they, base. They, well, they've got to live up. They live up to my standards. So they all they all get played. They all get played on stage. They all get played in the studio. Fantastic. Um, and as a studio base, they're they're brilliant because they you get all those sounds out of one you know one passive pickup. Yeah. You know I've I've played you know bases with with batteries and it always drives me crazy. I, yeah. I unplug them and. They never quite sound the same. From, from yeah, the and there's, there's hisses and pops you yeah. get, and there's yeah, and, an artificial like top end, which you, you know, which you know, by the time you put it through a PA and a DI up front, it doesn't sound the same as what you got on stage anyway. So. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, personally. if you guys are interested in buying one of these, we're going to be happy to sell them uh, for Gary here. And Gary, would you autograph them if anybody would want? One? Absolutely. Yeah. I actually, just live up the road. <laughs> All right. So Fantastic. I'll, I'll that makes it convenient. And, uh, and uh, absolutely sign it. I can tell by the accent that you live in. It's It's full of foreigners yeah. around here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was born at Manly Beach near Tarzana. Uh, yeah. All right, so Double Gary, uh, Gary Gary beers, really cool bases. We're happy Very to cool. sell them over here at Norm's Rag Guitars, so please get in touch and with us. And check out Ash and Moon as well, because they... they you got a record coming out soon. Yeah, right? the record's coming out end of the year. We've been releasing, we've released about four or five singles and videos and been tough through the pandemic, but we're, of course, yeah. you know, we're, it's actually made us more self-sufficient. We make our own videos. The record was recorded up in my studio and up the road in Tarzana, um, produced and written by myself and, and the other two guys in the band. So Fantastic. Yeah, good stuff. Check them out. All right, buy one of these bases from us here at Norm's. Gary Gary Beers.